What's up, Alfonso Nation? It is Alfonso. <laughs> I don't think I can do this. What's up, Alfonso Nation? It is Alfonso Peterman here today, and welcome to yet another episode of my Approaching TF5 series. This is simply a series where I discuss all the facts and rumors in regards to the upcoming Transformers 5 movie. This is episode number 11, and today we're going to be talking about breaking news that just hit the public eye arena internet web star the world. <laughs> uh, yes, a new teaser trailer has came out uh, starring a villain in Transformers The Last Night. And we already know that we've seen um, the picture of what appears to be Optimus Prime in one of the trailers. But there has been a second trailer release with a villain. But not only is this villain released, but the villain is Megatron. That is right. Megatron has returned for Transformers The Last Night. And you know what? Honestly, it did not surprise me that he's returning. But it did surprise me what I what he looks like. I don't know if you guys remember, but in one of my previous videos, I mentioned that the significance of Galvatron at the end of Age of Extinction, he said, we shall meet again, Prime, for I am reborn. And I emphasize that he said reborn and not rebuilt. We know that Galvatron was built and Megatron was born. So by him saying I'm reborn, that is Megatron on the inside speaking that he has returned. So that was kind of our clue that Megatron was going to return. That is why it, w it didn't surprise me when I saw, oh, okay, he's returning. Well, yeah, I mean, it kind of gave that clue. It kind of foreshadowed that in the distinction. But when I saw his face, that, that, that freak, I was, okay. I was like, what? It looks like one of those, uh, uh, what is it called? It's the, um, uh, there's hatchet, there's, uh, crankcase. The dreads. It looks like one of the dreads. Just without the dreads. It has that kind of look of the Predator, too. It has that Predator look. But when I saw that picture of Megatron, I'm like, oh. <laughs> that is going to be interesting. That's going to be really, really interesting. To see Megatron like that. I've never, I've never, I would never imagine that face to be a Megatron. But it definitely, it, it's Megatron. It's Megatron and he's returning. There is this, like, a hook that comes down and comes back up into his nasal region <laughs> if he has a nose and it's on both sides and that's interesting to me that is one of the most unique features of his face i also noticed that his eyes if you look closer it is well it's it's white and then it has a red trim and then a purple outline that's interesting because <laughs> we know the Decepticons usually have just red eyes it's just red. Red is just the color of the Decepticon. When I saw the purple rim and the purple eye from the Oculus Prime um, trailer, that's a similarity. Think about it. Think about it. What Autobot? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm getting edgy. What Autobot? Do you know? Please put it in the comments because I have never seen it. What Autobot do you know? With purple eyes! <laughs> Come on! But what Autobot? Ever. Like, what? I've never, I, I, I can't think of it. I can't think of it. I'm sorry, but I just don't think it's Optimus. It might be Nemesis Prime. The creators might do something to Optimus Prime to cause him to look that way. Maybe the creators did something to him, but he's still good. Because remember, the, the Optimus Prime face, the trailer, that's an Autobot trailer. And this is the villain that was released for the Decepticon faction. So it's like, wait, okay, so this might not be a bad guy. The, the guy we're looking at might be Optimus Prime, but his eye color might be different. It's so confusing, and it's too early to tell what really is going on, but it's just a matter of speculation. And the red paint. There's a red paint on the side of his face, and that's it. Like, there's no other coloring to Megatron's face. That is just, that's just strange. I think there's more to the face, but because it's a trailer, and it's a teaser trailer, it's supposed to tease you, I think there's like more to his face, but the dark kind of like blends it out. Um, also I looked and I saw on the top of him, at, around his, like around, uh, like up here, I noticed some hieroglyphics. Now, I'm not sure if that's Cybertronian hieroglyphics, or that's hieroglyphics from another language on Earth. 
What I do like, guys, I, I do like the fact that Megatron, he has a different face. It's a different face. So we're going with a different look. I'm glad. But if you think about it, he, he needs to go to a different face because his old face is, has a big gash in it from the axe when Optimus Prime ripped it off. So, yeah. That's all for today. I just wanted to say Megatron is returning for Transformers 5. Can't believe how he looks. And uh, there's more things being revealed as the time continues as we move towards production. There's always going to be more information being revealed. And as I receive it, I will forward it on to the Alphonse Nation, as always. And uh, yes, I'm going to do a random subscriber shout out. I'm going to go back to doing that. I do want to acknowledge you guys because you guys are the reason why I am talking to this camera. Ha! All right. I've done my computer. I'm gonna check for a YouTube subscriber. I will pick you at random. I just wanna start doing shoutouts. Dragon Galaxy 26. Uh, I'll just do another one. Dragon Galaxy 26. And last but not least, and David Burroughs. Thank you for subscribing, Mr. David Burroughs. Uh, I appreciate you subscribing to me. It is the reason why I make videos like this. It's because people like you that support what I do. So. Thank you guys. Uh, I will be doing more subscriber shoutouts as I do videos. Um, I'm going to start doing that again. I wanted to start acknowledging you guys a lot more. Anyways, thank you for watching. My name is Alfonso Piven and I will see you. I will see you. Me and Shady will see you in my next video.